Hello. Hi, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, Hello how are you? I'm fine. That's excellent. How was your day? Muy bien, teacher. <laughs> That's excellent. And the rest of you? Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. Very good, teacher. Platform? Yes. Okay. How is it going? How are you doing with the platform? Todo bien? Han tenido algún problema? Van al día? Van atrasados? No sé si afligirme o estar contenta porque mucho silencio, no piden ayuda. <laughs> Todo bien, gracias a Dios, teacher. Okay, that's perfect. Then, and the rest of you? Todo bien, teacher. Yo ya voy por la parte 2, 2.2. Oh, okay, that's nice. Que es, ya, que, que es el diálogo que vimos en la clase de ayer. Mm -hmm. Did you practice? Yes. Okay, perfect. Okay, so, uh, so no tienen preguntas con los ejercicios, algo que necesiten ayuda con la plataforma. Is everything okay? Mm. Eh, solo, solo que en la parte uno, que era de armar las preguntas con do, Si se le ponía el signo de interrogación, me salían mal. Ah, sí, Porque... sí. Pero el orden sí estaba bien, solo era por el signo. Sol, ajá, el, so, solamente le quité el signo de interrogación al final a todo y ya me dio el chequecito. Ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ok. That's excellent. Sí, eso les pasó a varios como ya el ejercicio a veces lo tiene y ya incluido. Entonces, sí, pero sí. Lo bueno es que sí tenía correcto el orden, solo era un capricho de la plataforma que no quería el signo. So that's okay. Sí. Hay que tener paciencia con eso. Ok, so um, we're going to start the class. Yesterday we practiced the conversation. But we didn't finish the video, and it's important to finish the video so we can um, take a look to the grammar structure that we're going to be using. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, this is the conversation that we practice, and also we're going to watch the grammar structure, and then we're going to um, exercise. Now let's try to understand simple present short answers. I would like for you to notice the chart on the screen. Do you live in an apartment? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do the bedrooms have windows? Yes, they do. No, they don't. Does Chris live in a house? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Does the house have a yard? Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. We'll start on the left side of this chart. Let's look at the question, do you live in an apartment? The way we answer this type of question is by saying, yes, I do, or no, I don't. When responding to yes or no questions, we will typically answer in this way. It's important that we recall a rule that I explained a few lessons ago. The auxiliary to use when forming questions and short answers in the simple present is the following. For the pronouns, I, you, we, and they, do or don't. For the pronouns he, she, and it, does or 
doesn't. Now, if you see the example, do the bedrooms have windows? Because we're talking about bedrooms, plural, we're going to use the pronoun they and the auxiliary do or don't. So the answer can be posited by saying, yes, they do. Or negative by saying, no, they don't. Let's analyze one more example. Does Chris live in a house? Because we're talking about Chris, singular, and third person, we're going to use the pronoun he and the auxiliary does or doesn't. So the answer can be positive by saying, yes, he does or negative by saying, no, he doesn't. Now it's your turn to practice by making yes or no questions and making short answers. Ask questions about the houses or apartments of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. And make short answers as well. Whenever you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, that's basically the the topic we studied yesterday, and I also explained the uh, how to form these kind of questions. Right, so we're going to continue with this. Hmm. Okay, this is what you already uh, studied on the video. So it's how to make simple present questions and short answers. As we were practicing yesterday, the structure for these questions uh, is first the auxiliary do or does, depending on the subject. Then the subject, the verb without any alteration, then the complement and the question mark. And we also are going to use uh, the same auxiliary when answering the questions, right? So is, it, is this topic clear for you? Está bien con esto para ustedes o sienten que eh, Necesitan que ampliemos más la explicación de lo que ya vieron en el video. Is it easy for you? Sí, haz un poco más de ejemplos, teacher. Ok, so... Um, para, para ir... Ok, perfecto. So, um, es ya yeah, con lo que les explicaba ayer y también lo que acaban de ver en el video, vamos a estar trabajando las yes no questions ahora con el tema de la casa, el apartamento. So, um, whenever you ask this kind of questions, estas preguntas van a empezar siempre con el auxiliar do o does, lo cual va a depender del sujeto, ¿verdad? Si, eh, ¿Cuándo vamos a usar do? Primeras personas. Eh, con la primera persona, I, con la segunda you, que es you, y los uh -huh. plurales, you, we, and they. Ajá. ¿Y cuándo usamos das? He, he, he. he Ajá. She, Cuando she, nos referimos she. a él, ella o a una cosa, ¿verdad? Como por ejemplo aquí es Chris, el sujeto, entonces es he, ¿verdad? Tercera singular. Aquí el sujeto es la casa, es una cosa, es it. Entonces, por eso estamos usando das, right? Y, y así, ok, more exercises about this, here we can practice. Ok, I have this conversation, para los que ya les mandé la presentación, no me vayan a hacer trampa, no vayan a ver las respuestas primero. <laughs> So, uh, you can complete the conversation. Vamos a completar la conversación y luego la vamos a practicar. Ok, ¿qué hace falta aquí? Vamos a ver, esta es una pregunta. Aquí nos hace falta el auxiliar y el verbo. Do you live in an apartment? Chris contesta, no, I... I don't. Don't. Ajá, uh -huh. no, I, I don't. Hay un punto aquí y va a empezar otra oración. I... In a house. ¿Qué falta aquí? Live. 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 Ajá. 
Entonces vamos a contestar, no, I don't, I live in a house. Y así van a ir completando, siguiendo el hilo de la, de la conversación. Solo vayan poniendo las respuestas si quieren y después las vamos a chequear. Para que no copien todo.
finish. Okay, let us check your answers. Are you ready to check the answers? Okay, in here uh, we said, uh, do you live in an apartment? And I said, no, I don't. I live in a house. Then in this part? Does, does, does it have a yard? Does it have a yard? Uh -huh. Yes, it does. 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 That sounds nice. Do you like Do you live alone? Do you live alone? Do you live alone? No, I No, I don't. I don't. No, I don't. I live, I live, I live, I live with, with my family. With my family. Oh. family. Okay, I live with my family. And here? Do, do you do have, you have any, brother any brothers or sisters? Brother or sisters? Excellent. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Yes, I? Yes, I, I do. do. I, I do. Have, I have four I sisters. Have four. I have four sisters. Really? Really? Yeah. house? Does your house have many bedrooms? Have many bedrooms. Have many bedrooms. Yes, it does. Does it has has it has four? Do you have? Do you have? Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I do. Okay. Very nice. If you have those answers, they are completely correct. And here we can check them. And we can practice as well. So we see here, do you live in an apartment? And we can repeat at home. Let's repeat. Do you live in an apartment? 
Do you live in an apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. No, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a yard? Does it have a yard? Does it have a yard? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. No, 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 I, 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 I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have, do you have, any, have any brother or sisters? sisters? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Yes, yes, I, do. yes I, I do. I have, I have four sisters. sisters. Really? 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 Does your house have really? many bedrooms? Really? Does your house, house have, have many, bedrooms? many bedrooms? Many bedrooms? bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. Yes, yes it does. does. It has four. Has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Do you, you have your own bedroom? bedroom? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Yes, yes, yes. I do. I'm, I'm really, really lucky. lucky. I'm really lucky. Okay, now as a uh, extra practice, we're going to practice presentation in groups. So if you don't have that presentation, you can take a picture and then I'm going to create the section group so you can practice pronunciation with your classmates. Are you ready? Yes. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm going to create the section. So let's click join or unirse when you see the message on your screen. Okay. Okay, there you go. La, la captura de la conversación. Sí, sí. Somos bueno. cuantos, perdón, que no puedo ver. You are three, Fernando, Araceli, and Monica. Mm. Sí. Antes que nada, sorry, tengo problemas con la cámara. Sí, está bien, no hay problema. Mm -hmm. Este, si quiere podemos agarrar uno, un guión cada uno para que vayamos. Va, está bien. Así fluido, ajá. Va. ¿Quién este, empieza? Empiezo yo. Sí, está bien. Eh, do you live in apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house. Okay. Voy yo, okay. Sí, Mónica. Ah, perdón. Entonces, ah, no vamos a ir. Perdón, no había entendido. Does it have um, a yard? A yard, no sé. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house help help money bathroom? Yes, I does. It has four. Do you have your uh, bedrooms? Yes, I do. I am really looking. Bye. Y ahora cambiamos. Ajá, es puede empezar. Voy yo. Para el variante. Vaya. Do you live in apartment? Eh, no, I don't. I live in house. Does it have a year? Yes, 
It does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brother or sister? Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Really? Does your house have many bedrooms? Yes, it does. It has four. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I am really lucky. Do you have your own bedroom? Yes, I do. I am really lucky. Okay. Okay. Eh, si quiere, hagamos la segunda vuelta y empieza usted entonces. Okay. Empiezo yo. Oh, sí. Do you live in apartment? Viviana. Viviana. Bueno, pues, pues, tiene. Ay, perdón, perdón. <risa> no, I don't. I live in a house. Does it have a jar? Yes, he does. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family. Do you have any brothers of or sister? Yes, I do. you have your own bedrooms? Yes, I do. I am really lucky. Vaya. Ahora, ya practicamos toda, ¿verdad? Okay, so um, creo que ya están todas así rapidito se regresaron. <laughs> escuché nada más, logré entrar a cuatro grupos y eh, los escuché, hicieron un excelente trabajo, no tuve nada que corregir. So los felicito, lo están haciendo excelente. That was awesome. Perfect. Okay, now let's continue with this. Um, well, this is a conversation that we already practiced. Now, next thing is vocabulary. That's quite easy. So the vocabulary is about furniture. You know what furniture is? Furniture. Is this in general? We call it furniture. Que son muebles. So es la palabra en general para referirse a los muebles is furniture. So this is vocabulary, it's quite simple. What we need to do is just to practice it. Let's watch the video and see what is our homework for the discussion forum. Let me share the audio. Okay. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for furniture and other household items. Let's get started by listening and repeating the vocabulary. Armchairs, stove, curtains, pictures, clock, bed, table, coffee table, microwave oven, Refrigerator, lamps, sofa, desk, bookcase, dresser, chairs, mirror, rug, television. Other vocabulary that is important to understand is kitchen, dining room, living room, bedroom. And now let's practice using the vocabulary that we just heard by making statements about your kitchen, dining room, living room, and bathroom. For example, 
my living room has a sofa, a rug, and a television. My dining room has After you complete this exercise, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so um, this is the video that we have for the vocabulary that we're going to be using. Whenever you want to practice room, it, room, you can watch the video and practice pronunciation. And also you can uh, build sentences and then you can share the sentences in the discussion forum as you see here in the example here we can see in my bedroom has two beds two dressers and a television my kitchen has a stove a refrigerator so the only thing that you have to do is to click here what it says añadir una publicación and then you can post your sentences here and that's quite simple. Como les repito, esto no es evaluado la discusión, pero pues sí les sirve a ustedes como práctica y a nosotros para ver cómo están haciendo eh, su trabajo. Si hay algo que corregir, pues aquí vamos viendo. ¿Verdad? No sé si tienen alguna pregunta con esto o seguimos. Eh. Mi teacher. No. Hola. Hola. Sí. Mi, mi. What is the difference entre armchair, sofa, and chest? Ah, pues, excellent pues, question. Is it similar? Uh, yeah, there is a difference. Eso sí tiene una diferencia. Excelente pregunta. Vamos a retroceder un poco para poderlo ver un poquito más grande. Acá. Okay, tenemos armchairs, sofa y chairs. La diferencia, estas son sillas normales, sillas como las que usamos para el comedor, son sillas, chairs. O okay. las... Teacher, chest. Chest. Chairs. C-H-E-S-T. Chest. Chest. El sofá. Uh -huh. Pecho. No, no. C H E S T, chest. A chest. No. Eso es pecho. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No es no, roof. Ok, perdón. Es que la palabra que yo le no, escucho no, es... Es, 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 es. Se la voy a escribir aquí en el, en el chat. Perdón. Ok, ok. Es, ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre arm? Chairs. 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 Sofa. And coach. Sofa. Ah, okay. Este es arm chairs. Son estas. Estas que ve acá son armchairs. Estas son los sillones, pero los sillones pequeños. Ok, en el juego de sala tenemos un sofá que es el sillón grande. Como le decimos, el sillón grande es el sofá. El sofá o los juegos de sala traen usualmente los sillones como individuales. Eso se llaman armchairs. Y estas pues ya son las sillas normales, sillas comunes. Esa es la diferencia. Okay. Any other question? No more questions? No question. Okay, no more questions. So, um, pictures. Pictures. 
Ah, los pictures mm -hmm. son como los cuadritos, los cuadros o pinturas que se ponen en la pared como decoración. Mm -hmm. in, in, no hay confusión, digamos, con picture. Que no es, yo tenía entendido que era imagen. Sí, también. Mm -hmm. Imagen puede mm -hmm. decir picture. Y también uh, puede decir... Uh, Bueno, la foto sí ya no es, es foto, foto o photograph. Uh, picture puede ser algo, una decoración de pared o una imagen. Ahí depende del contexto. Y sí, uh, couch es sofá también. Es igual, no hay diferencia para lo que me escribió en el chat. Podemos decir couch o podemos decir sofá y ese sí es lo mismo. Okay. Any other question? Teacher, cuando ¿Sí? estoy hablando de una lámpara, podría, eh, o oh, bueno, ¿cuál es, ¿cómo se tendría que decir cuando hablo entonces de un foco o de una lámpara de, de la que se pone para alumbrar eh, toda la casa? Eh, una lámpara es una lámpara y ya puede ser la de, la de mesa o la que pone afuera, pero si es un El foco, foco que comúnmente le, le llamamos. El foco se dice diferente, es light, light bulb, uh -huh. así light como bulb. se los escribí en el chat, light bulb, ese es foco, es ya el puro foquito, de ahí lamp son lámparas, en general la, puede ser la como decorativa, la, la decorativa, la de poste, ese es lamp, ah, okay. y el foquito en sí es light bulb. Any other question? Para referirnos a televisión, pero no sé si es mi conexión, pero le, le es entrecortado, escuché, no, no, no. Hola. Ay, sí, 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 creo que se me fue porque los veo a todos congeladitos. Hola. Hello. Hola, ¿sí me escuchan? Hola, hola, sí, teacher, ¿se escucha? Hola, sí, le yes. escuchamos. Alguien yes. me estaba haciendo una pregunta, pero solo escuché entrecortado. Después. Le escribí. Ah, no, eso es TV. TV, and that's it. Okay. Nunca he escuchado que le digan plasma en inglés. En español sí he escuchado plasma. Okay. Any other question? Yo so, so TV o television. That's it. And the most common is TV. <coughs> TV es lo más común que se le llama. Okay. So let us continue here. Uh, the vocabulary that we have is this one. And after that, we have a, a topic here. Answer the questions about the pictures. Okay, we have uh, studied the vocabulary. Now, let's answer the question. Number one, does she have a television? Yes, yes she does. Now, um, let's see. Uh, Diana, number two, does she need curtains? Yes, she does. Does she need curtains? ¿Qué es no. la palabra? Uh, oh, no. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. No necesita cortinas, ahí tiene. Mm -hmm. Need es necesitar. No necesita. Mm -hmm. So now Diana asked the question number three to another classmate. Ahora usted le pregunta la número tres a otra persona. Ahí puede ver la lista de los participantes. Se escoge uno y le pregunta la number three. Does she need a sofa, Estela? Yes, she does. Ah, 
Okay, now you continue, Stella. Okay. Does does she does she have a chair, Fernanda Bermudez? Eh, eh, ¿Cuál era la pregunta? Perdón. La número cuatro. Does ah. she have a chair? Eh, yes. Yes, I have. Sí, look at the picture. Tienen que irse basando en el dibujo. Sí, ah, sí, ella no. necesita. No, la palabra have. What is have? Tiene, ella tiene una silla. Ajá, tiene ella una silla. Ah. Does she have a chair? No. No, I have. No. Sí, porque estamos trabajando de... Ah, sí, sí, sí. Now, sí. what is the answer, Fernando? Eh, sería... No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Ok, Fernando. Ahora, hágale las cinco a otra persona. Ok. Uh, does she have a rock? Uh, Luis Carmona, creo que es. Sí. Uh, yes, she does. Yes, yes, she does. She does. She does. Excellent. Luis, now ask the question number six to another classmate. <laughs> Para Dina Contreras. Okay. Uh, does she need picture? Uh, no, she doesn't. No, she doesn't. Okay, Dina. Now, creo que hay otro. Okay, Dina. Okay. Oy, perdón. Okay. Uh, do they have a lamp? Uh, Estela. Yes, they they have. Yes, they do, or yes, they have a lamp. Yes, they have a lamp. Excellent, Estela. Continue with number eight to another classmate. Okay, vamos. Do they need a table, Diana Jamilet? Um, yes, they do. Yes, they, they do. Excellent, Diana. Continue, Diana. Um, do they have choices? Do do they have chair? Chair. Dina? Dina or Linda? Dina. Linda. 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 Okay. Lina, Linda, I think it's Linda, right? What's Hola. number nine? Yes, number nine. Do they need, do they have chairs? No, they do, they don't. Excellent. No, they don't. Ahora, Linda, continue con otro compañero. Pregúntele la diez. Um, Lisette, ahorita pregunto, do they need the clock? Uh, no, they need a clock. No, they don't need a clock. No, they don't need a clock. 
Excellent, Lisa. Now ask the question number 11 to another classmate. Um, they have a mirror, uh, Sirhan. No, they don't have a mirror. No, they, no, they don't have a mirror. Okay, excellent. Now you ask the last question. Pregúntele la última a otro compañero o compañera. Uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Lisette, no, no veo la última pregunta. Uh, do, you, do they need curtains? Yes, they need curtains. Yes, they do. Or yes, yes they do. Need curtain. Okay, excellent. Now we're going to continue with the next video on the platform. Let's see. That's this one. Ya casi terminamos la sección dos. This is excellent. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form statements with there is and there are. Also, how to use some, no, and any when referring to different objects. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, There Aren't Any Chairs. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice the conversation. This apartment is great. Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lamp. So let's go shopping next weekend. Now, let's learn how to use there is and there are. I would like to start by demonstrating the examples on this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. There's no sofa in the bedroom. There isn't a table in the kitchen. There are some chairs in the kitchen. There are no chairs in the living room. There aren't any chairs in the living room. There's equals there is. To better understand how to form this statement, I would like to write some formulas. For singular objects, there plus is or isn't plus a, that's the article a, or no, plus complement. For plural objects, there plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complement. So let's take a look at the first example on the left hand side of this chart. There's a bed in the bedroom. This is a singular object so we're going to follow the formula there plus is or isn't plus a or no plus some kind of complement. So in this case we use there then the verb to be is, is. Um, on the example is contracted as you can see, there's. We will use the article A. The complement is bed in the bedroom. We're going to do something similar with the next example. There's no sofa in the bedroom. At the beginning of our sentence we have there. The verb to be is, is. Once again on the example is contracted. Then we will use the article A because we are talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement. Sofa in the bedroom. The last example. There isn't a table in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. The verb to be is 
isn't because we're expressing something negative. Then we use the article A because we're talking about a singular object. Finally, we have the complement, table in the kitchen. Now let's look at the right hand side of this chart. For these examples, we're going to talk about plural objects. So we need that formula. There plus are or aren't plus some or any or no plus some kind of complements. Now let's uh, look at the first example on the right hand side of the chart. There are some chairs in the kitchen. At the beginning of our sentence we use there. After that the verb to be are. Next we use some. It's important to mention that we will use some whenever we're making positive statements. We can't say any, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs, in the kitchen. Our next example, there are no chairs in the living room. At the beginning of our sentence, we use there. After that, the verb to be are. Next, we're going to use no. Notice that we will use this expression whenever we're expressing something negative. And you can also say aren't any as well. Either one is correct. Uh, finally, we have the complement. Chairs in the living room. For our uh, last example, there aren't any chairs in the living room. We start our sentence with there. Next, the verb to be aren't. After that, we're going to use any. Mm -hmm. It's important mm -hmm. to remind you that we will use any whenever we are making negative statements. We can't say some, for example. Finally, we have the complement, chairs in the living room. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to describe the objects that you have and don't have in your house or apartment. After you finish this task, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so I suppose that you already saw that video, and uh, what do you understand from the video? ¿Qué entendieron del video? Is that easy or is it difficult? So, so. So, so. Okay, first thing, let's start. Um, vamos a, ahora solo vimos el video y les voy a explicar un poco cómo se usa there is and there are y mañana vamos a practicar sobre esto. Now, there is and there are, eso es básicamente lo primero que se dice en el video. Si you have there is y there are, ¿para qué usamos there is y there are? There is en singular, there are en plural. Ok, there is lo usamos para singular y there are para plural, ¿verdad? Ok, so, entonces, ¿qué significa there is o para qué usamos there is, para qué usamos there are? There is y there are lo utilizamos para hablar sobre la existencia de algo o la no existencia de algo. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, there is, um, let's see, there is a mouse in my desk. Okay, if I say there is a mouse in my desk. Estoy diciendo que hay un mouse. There is a mouse in my desk. I, estoy hablando de la existencia, I, uh, hay un mouse in my desk. Eh, si fuera algo plural, digamos que tengo dos computadoras en mi escritorio. There are two computers in my desk. Estoy hablando de, de que hay, existen dos computadoras ahí. Igual para decir o oh, la no existencia de algo. Entonces, si es algo que no existe o no hay, 
There isn't. Ok. Vamos a poner is not. Ok. There isn't. Por ejemplo, si yo quiero que de decir que no hay un supermercado cerca de mi casa. There isn't. There isn't a supermarket near my house. Tampoco hay restaurantes. Quiero decir que no hay restaurantes. There aren't any restaurants around my house. ¿Ok? Si es para hablar de la existencia o no existencia de algo. Y si es singular, vamos a usar there is. Y si es algo plural, lo que vamos a mencionar, entonces será there are. Hasta ahí ya quedó un poquito más claro. ¿Vamos bien? Yes. yes. Ok. Luego, okay. si vamos a hablar de algo singular, acuérdense que cuando usamos algo singular, utilizamos un artículo, ¿verdad? A. O oh, an. Oh, an. ¿De qué depende? De... Si, si, si empieza con vocal. Ok. Excellent. There is a lamp outside my house. So I can say there is a lamp outside my house. So aquí digo un o una, ¿verdad? En este caso es una lámpara afuera de mi casa. Ahora, si fuera... Quiero decir que hay un, un silloncito de los pequeños. Entonces sería an arm. There is an armchair in my bedroom. Ok, so I can say there is an armchair in my bedroom. Hay un silloncito en mi bedroom. Ahora, este A y este AN no lo utilizamos cuando mencionamos en plurales. Por ejemplo, aquí ya no utilizaríamos ese A o AN. ¿Ok? Y luego tenemos quantifier, some y any. Some lo vamos a usar en oraciones afirmativas y any en oraciones negativas. ¿Ok? Eh, esto es solo para explicarles más o menos el... el, el lo que vieron en el video, pero vamos a practicarlo más el día de mañana. Ya con esto yo creo que ya tienen una mejor idea ya para que hagan el noble check de este video en la plataforma. Cualquier cosa pueden pedir ayuda o al grupo o a mi chat personal. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, so mañana vamos a practicar esto eh, so para que ya les quede más eh, mejor explicado y más claro. And, uh, So, see you tomorrow and sleep see you well. Tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.